Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody is having a incredible day today. I know I am. I am uh, feeling good. It was about 1.30 this morning when I finally got to bed, but it's okay. I was happy as could be as I did. Got my fireside chat with the game balls given away and just happy that the Cowboys got to win. But, you know, the Cowboys won, but they really lost because now we got revisionist history about the Cowboys. You know, now we're hearing that the Dallas Cowboys, you know, they let a semi tomato can come in there and score a lot of points and didn't look as good as they should. Yeah, Dak Prescott, he should be in the conversation for MVP. But by far, he shouldn't be the, the, the guy. The, he shouldn't be the number one candidate, of course. That, that's what we're getting from the talking heads, Chris Massard. He's giving them a B for their performance last night. Here's the thing that's kind of funny to me. Because the game that you saw last night with the Cowboys... You could say was the same game that the Eagles had twice against the Eagles. I mean, excuse me, against the Commanders. You can say it's the same kind of game they had against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. And it's crazy because the, the, the officiating, let's be clear here, this year sucks. It sucks. Maybe some calls were called last night towards the Cowboys, but by far... It was just a bad night and calls all the way around. There were a lot of stuff that was called that was ticky-tack, and then there's blatant shit that was missed. Um, and for Eagle fans, Eagle fans, what, it's, instead of opining here about the Cowboys and coming in and saying, y'all suck, your defense stinks, uh, your quarterback isn't as good as my quarterback stuff, you might be want to be focused in on the San Francisco 49ers this weekend. You do have that game on Sunday. See, the Cowboys, they're done. They're done. I'm sitting here seeing Philly 500 say, oh, yeah, Dak could be in the conversation, but he ain't leading it by any stretch of the imagination. I've got Eagle fans that are like, don't you ever say anything about officiating. Dude, we've had some of the most egregious calls ever made against us the whole catch no catch when you have calls that are bad calls made against you and they change the rules you know it was a really bad call i'm okay with that i'm okay you know i, I love it actually that people don't want to give the dallas cowboys any respect any love because in the end i don't want my cowboys to get a big head Last night, you know, I was worried about watching what I was watching. You saw Deron Bland, who got, you know, uh, NFC Defensive Player of the Month. And last night, he was playing like ass-ass. Sometimes you can start believing the headlines, and before you know it, all of a sudden the narrative changed. Now, make no mistake about it. The Eagles, last week, they faced a desperate Buffalo Bills team. Buffalo knew that that may be the last chance for them to make the playoffs. They gave it their best shot. And to the Eagles' credit, I'm going to give you credit. You took all of their shots, along with the help of the officials, and you came, found a way to have a victory. So why is it when the Dallas Cowboys do the exact same thing? And let's be clear here. Buffalo <coughs> and <coughs> Seattle have the same record, same record, period. How come the Cowboys suck and Dak Prescott doesn't get credit for it and Jalen Hurts does? I'm asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. But um, Eagles, you better take care of your own business because the Cowboys are in the rearview mirror coming up behind you and they can kick back, relax, and put on the headgear and get ready for a trip through the atmosphere. They sitting here waiting for you guys. You got the win the first time. 
Let's see if the Cowboys can split it with you. Um, now, as far as Shaq Leonard, Shaq Leonard, per Jerry Jones, is taking his time. He is looking at the situation. He's taking a minute to catch his breath before he joins the other team. And Jerry Jones doesn't know. He's, Jerry Jones basically says, I don't know. We had a great meeting. We had everything, you know, go well. But he's going to take the weekend to decide between the Cowboys and the Eagles. And I wonder if the Eagles lose, and a lot of people are predicting that they're going to lose. Eagles are getting no respect. No respect whatsoever. If they lose, hmm. Well, Shaq Leonard, think about the Cowboys. That's a big, big question right there. But um, in all actuality, um, I'm very, very proud of my team. My Cowboys, they truly showed up last night, at least the offensive side. And contrary to popular belief where everybody says that Dak Prescott folds, there was no folding there. He rose to the occasion, and he led the Dallas Cowboys. He was firing up the defense. He was slinging the rock. He did everything to will the team to win. And um, Dallas Cowboys, since Rashid has passed, or 2-0. and oh. I miss you, buddy. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see y'all later. Eagles lose. I'm still going to have a good week. As long as the Eagles lose, I'm still going to have a good week. Everybody loses, I'm still having a good week. Because we're still in it by one game. God damn it. Jason fucking Garrett, seriously? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Yeah. Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Yeah. Exactly. Well, we actually had a good team. What? Oh, now, yeah. you, now you want to see, see the shit now. When he with y'all. When we were dealing with it all this damn time. How do you fucking call he plays? How in the fuck? Oh my God! I don't believe this right now. <laughs> how do you feel? How do you feel about the team, my team? Oh my God! Like it's Jason Garrett. It's Jason Garrett's fault. Like y'all been saying for ten years, Jason Garrett. How the fuck man, you call? Man, uh, man, how do you call right? on four, fifth, a third and fifteen? Man, you call man. a five-yard play. Then the next play, you go down. You call up a twenty-yard play. Wow. They hit the first down. Yeah. Then you put Danny Dimes in position to throw a fucking interception. Seriously? Run the goddamn ball or something to get the field. Or something. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to hell home. I'm going to hell home. We all go, you all lost. So don't get mad. Don't y'all can y'all can get pride in my jewel and my anger, but y'all lost too. Fuck God damn it. Shit. Fuck. Let's go home. How in the hell the last four games? The last four games now. Oh, three, three out of four, you're driving down the field near the end zone and you throw a goddamn interception every goddamn time. What the well, hell is that? We got, got all that time. Yeah, yeah. Now you see the shit. What the hell is that? <laughs>